Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and you are looking for how to set up Stream Elements Chatbot. This is going to be a pretty beginning video, so if you're, you're really just getting started with this whole thing, um, this is gonna be a perfect video for you. But if you're somebody who wants a little bit more of an advanced video on this, I do have a Stream Elements Chatbot video that is more of like, you know, 10 commands that you need, and, and it should be for more advanced people here, okay? And you know, while you're after you're done watching this video, for any of my beginning people, you could probably go and watch that video and set a whole bunch of cool commands up, okay? And speaking of of beginning you know I, when you're when you're getting started you want you know chat bot you want overlays alerts all that kind of stuff well, i've got the perfect solution for you and the sponsor of this video oh i'm gonna stop you right there everybody because i want to talk to you about today's sponsor of this video now before you fast forward when you see the sponsor come up and all that kind of stuff this actually applies to this video which is really really cool and i'm talking about my good friends over at owned.tv and more specifically their recent product called owned Pro. What this is is an OBS Studio plugin that allows you to get things like overlays, labels, alerts, live chatbot integration, Twitch chatbot coming soon, and also copyright free music coming soon. So maybe you're somebody who doesn't know how to build an overlay from scratch, or you don't want to just pay, you want to have hundreds of overlays to pick from, this is perfect for you. Through this plugin, you'll be able to install overlays and alerts with one click. You'll have all the stream labels that you need, as well as you'll be able to embed your Twitch chat into OBS Studio and display that on the screen. Might have heard all this and say, yeah, whatever, Nick, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not going to pay for that. But how about you just try it out for free in the link down below? And if you like it, you know, maybe you do go for it. All right, let's jump into the rest of the video. So we're going to head right into stream elements and talk about, you know, setting up your chat bot and all that good stuff. And how we're going to do that is go based on the menu and kind of just go down. There is something you need to do before we do that. And that is mod stream elements in your chat. So you're going to want to go slash mod, type that into your chat space, and then type stream elements as well as on the dashboard page of stream elements. You want to go over to the bot settings and make sure that your bot is connected to the channel and that will make stream elements a mod and allow it to do the things that we're going to talk about today. So the first thing on our list today is to talk about modules. So when we click onto modules and then we see, you know, bot modules, we see a whole bunch of different things here. Let's kind of talk through these really quick and maybe one or two of these will spark some interest or spark some creativity for you. The first one I definitely suggest having enabled is chat alerts. So what this does is anytime you get an alert or, or some kind of like follow, sub, dono, whatever it is, that's going to end up in your chat and it'll kind of like put a message in the chat for whoever did that, which is really, really cool. Um, one of the side notes of this is that you'll be able to like see it in chat. So if you're like, go back to read chat and maybe you miss something, you'll be able to see it and be like, oh shoot. Hey, thank you so much for that. You know? Um, and it's kind of like something that saved my skin a little bit or like somebody follows and I can see it better on there than I did on the alert or, or whatever it is. The next ones that we're about to see are all based around the loyalty points, uh, set up in stream elements. If you want me to do a video just strictly on loyalty points or like stream points that people can earn for watching your stream, I will absolutely do that. Just put that in the comments down below and let me know. And while you're in the comments, I mean, maybe smash like, I don't know. Okay, so the first one we have relating to these stream points is roulette. This is like a basic gamble setting. So uh, what, what it would be is, you know, they would type exclamation point roulette space 5,000. And then, you know, they would, they would gamble that. And so it's kind of like random if they get it or not kind of a thing. You can choose how rigged it is. And I think that just means that you're choosing how often people can lose or how hard it is to lose or, or, or how hard it is to win and things like that. And so that's, that's just basically roulette. You guys can play around with that some more. They've got bingo. Uh, you know, you, I don't really know how to use that one. You guys can check that out. <laughs> I don't really know how to use bingo, but I, it looks like you just had to guess like uh, the right emote and then you get, you get cash money or points or whatever it is. Uh, the next one is raffle. This is a really cool one that I've seen some streamers use to kind of create some engagement. If there's lurkers or things like that, that they're kind of like, well, oh, man, we really want to bring people forward and feel like they're comfortable to chat. What they'll do is they'll run a, a raffle. So they'll go exclamation point raffle space and then an amount. And then people can join into that raffle. We got emote pyramids. Um, I would suggest probably not doing this because uh, then you have people to spam emotes all the time. Uh, especially when you're a smaller streamer, it's kind of sometimes it can get a little bit annoying. But I mean, hey, if you want to do it, awesome. It basically rewards people for when they get, you know, a, a emote pyramid. We also have something called dual here. Basically, someone they go XMH point dual space and then somebody's username and then the amount they want to dual for. And then after that, then it kind of just randomly chooses one winner. And it's kind of funny for people to, you know, go against each other and win some points. After that, we have eight ball, which is actually one that is not based on points. But what you can do is you can you can enable this and then people will go XMH point eight ball space. Ask a question like, hey, XMH point eight ball is Nick awful at games. And it'll probably answer no way. Nick's the best at games. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what eight ball is actually a really cool 
cool thing. We used to have this in my chat. We just haven't had it recently. I actually might, might, might get that one back. You know, let's give that a little enable. The one after that, we've got slot machine. Allow viewers to gamble away their points on the slot machine. This one basically is, is similar to gamble, but it just creates like a slot machine in your chat. You can uh, stream tweets in real time to your tw Twitch chat. So if you tweet, it shows up. I don't know why you would ever need to tweet during stream and put that into chat. I don't really understand that, but it's there. Uh, we've also got emote combos. Uh, congratulate chat for spamming the same emote. Uh, and then we have live announcements where like after you go live, it'll put it, it'll put it in the chat. I don't understand this either because I mean, maybe for like an offline chat, you know, someone hits live and then it, it shows up in there. But yeah, I mean, if you want it, awesome. Cool. Great. Uh, that covers modules, everybody. Let's head over to user management now. You're basically able to see who has access as a moderator within your chat bot and you can kind of remove people or add them or, or whatever it is. And it just has all your users within here. Uh, and it'll show you the different things that they're allowed to do and, and all that good stuff, okay? So nothing too much to explain on that side of things, but this is also within the chat commands menu. So we'll kind of just skip right over to that now. What we see here, if we go to the left up top, we're gonna start to see uh, different commands, right? We got default commands. These are the commands that Stream Elements already has on board here. So if we kind of look, scroll down these really quick, we'll see some different ones like exclamation point commands, or you can see that. We'll see some of the ones that we saw in in the modules side of things, but we'll see also some other ones that are pretty important like uptime we have over here. We've got also watch time here, follow age back up here. I don't think there's a sub age on here, which you would have to make yourself. We've got a whole bunch of moderator commands where these are only able to be from a moderator here. And then we have super moderator where they can put these types of things, these ones in here. So what I would do with these default commands, is kind of just look down them and see which ones you want in your uh, stream and see which ones you don't want. So if there's something that's checked on, you can turn it off. Or if there's something that's off, you can, you know, check that on. It's pretty simple. There's quite a few of the ones that you normally look for or normally see in chats within here. So it's a little bit easier to kind of just come through here and, and click those on versus having to learn how to do them. Okay. To the right, we have custom commands. Now this is a place where you can start to create your own commands or really go kind of crazy with your creativity and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but basically what I want to show you on this one is how to add a new command. So what we're going to do is go here to add a new command. You're going to see command name here. So say we're going to do hello and then say we do yo, what's up? Or what uh, I was about, I was about to write for the response. We'll just say, yo, what's up? User level, what this means is like, who's allowed to type this in? So is it everyone? Is it a subscriber? Is it a regular? This is kind of set up through like loyalty points and stuff. Is it a VIP, a moderator, a super moderator, or only you, the broadcaster? So that's something to think about whenever you're setting up a command. If you only want your mods to use it or something, then then put it under a uh, moderator. We do have some advanced settings within here and you can do things like enable the command when the stream is online, offline, or both. Uh, you can hide the command from public pages. How should the bot send the message? You can have it send it just like regular in chat where it just said that that's what say means uh you've got reply so you can have it like just directly reply to that person or you can have it send it to them in a whisper which is really cool you can also have the command cost something so if they if they use a command it costs a certain amount of like loyalty points so you can do that there you've got a user cooldown this is a really important thing to note because sometimes people spam things you'll want to have a cooldown for that like user in particular so this is like a just for the user so once somebody types it in this is how long it takes them to type in it again, and this is in seconds. And then you've got a global cooldown where someone types it, then the next person can't type it until whenever. So, and then under the, our cooldowns, we have command aliases. This is basically, if you want the command to be triggered off by other commands as well. So say if like, so you know how we have exclamation point hello for this one. Maybe we want it, we want it also to be an exclamation point hi or exclamation point, how are you or something? You know, like if anyone types anything else in, then we can have these in. So you'll want to go exclamation point hi, enter, exclamation point, how are you? I don't know. Enter. So you can kind of, you know, let your creativity flow on that. Under that, we have command keywords. So if without somebody typing in like a command, if you want them to type in just a word. So if someone says hello, that will respond to that. Like it doesn't have to be a, another command. It can just be like something somebody says or they say hi or how are you? So you can imagine like different types of commands that you can create for this. I have a command where if people ask to play, my, my chat bot just goes, uh, um, because that's what I say every time somebody like asks me to play, especially if I don't know them kind of a thing. And then after that, you're going to hit activate command. I'm not going to activate this command because uh, I've already got commands for this particular reason, but uh, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and delete that. But that's how you create a custom command. Again, if you're looking for, you know, 10 commands that you need, I do have another video and I will put it on the end screen at the end of this video. So make sure you check that out. Now on the other side of user management, we do have variables. This is something that's really, really cool because if you're somebody who likes to really get into the, the coding side of these commands 
you can really create some cool stuff. We've had some people comment on the videos, uh, especially my like command creation videos and stuff like that. People really go deep with some of the stuff and getting some really cool things. This shows you some of the coding of how to do different things. So say armpit death fart 69, just typed exclamation point hello. And we wanted to say hello armpit death fart 69. Uh, and, and, and I don't know why somebody's name would be that, but, and we wanted to send it over to them, but use their username in it. And it looks really professional and cool. We would use this var variable right here. Money sign brace user brace. Okay, so like this and so on. As you go down down this list, you'll read what these are for. And you can really create some cool commands that are going to engage your chat. And, and they're going to start to realize like, oh, shoot, you're putting a lot of time into this. It, it really speaks that to your chatter box. All right. So make sure you check this out and just start going crazy and creating some commands. I want to see what types of commands that you create. All right. Up next on our list here, we've got spam filters. This is very important because people are going to start trying to, you know, troll you and stuff. You know, it's just part of the deal. Part of the deal. So on here, we got different bot spam filters and we're going to kind of just go down the list here. We got caps protection. So if somebody's just like typing all in caps and that pisses you off, you can have that, uh, you can have that on. But I will say about spam filters is you want to make sure to protect against the really, really bad things like hateful slurs and all that kind of stuff and like bad links. And you don't want anyone to click on a link that's going to screw them over in your chat, all that kind of stuff. But you also don't want to have things where people are getting like timed out like crazy and they can't do anything in your chat and all that kind of stuff. That's why I, I don't really use cap protection for that exact reason. Uh, and that's just never been something that I've used. And so I just let people type in caps. I don't really care. And everyone just memes on them if they do next up we've got link protection this is very important because if you don't have this on then anyone can just post links in your chat and it gets really really like uncomfortable when like somebody who random comes in your chat and drops a link and maybe somebody clicks on it and it's a link that was just not good uh maybe it like steals information or maybe they can like really get into their computer i don't know there's weird stuff out there that can happen and so make sure that you're, you're protecting your chat from links and yourself from links that you don't want you can see timeout duration you can put like a timeout for people if they do post a link you also can like exclude certain people. So if you want subscribers to be able to post links, you can do that. If you want, you know, regulars or VIP. Uh, I have it set to VIP that can post links because I know that they're not going to really try to, I mean, most of the time, they're not going to try to mess with me um, in that sense. If you want to put like a timeout message, you can put something like, hey, don't post links, weirdo. Now you got whitelist. These are basically links that are going to be allowed for people to post. I put like the clips links in here because if I didn't put those, then people can't post clips that they've just taken of me and, and put it in chat. And people really like to do that. Like if, if we, if I do something funny, then they grab a clip, they want to post it into the chat so everyone can see. And so I allow that and allow for people to do that. Now, when it comes to blacklist, if there's any, anything you guys want to blacklist in terms of a website or that kind of stuff, you can put that onto there and uh, not allow that to ever be posted within your chat. All right, next up, we've got emote protection. This is just spamming emotes. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't put this on. I would not put this on. This is gonna, it, it, when you get raided, people spam emotes, and then all of a sudden, if you get raided and all they're spamming emotes, and then people are getting timed out and all that kind of stuff, uh, I just wouldn't do it. But if it bothers you and you wanna put it on, you do it the same way that we've kind of talked about before. So just look at these settings and and uh, flip that baby on, all right? Paragraph protection, This this protects you from having a whole bunch of, you know, like somebody posts like the freaking a freaking novel and all that kind of stuff. I don't have this on again because sometimes there's like, you know, we're talking about kind of controversial things on stream or whatever. And there's somebody who wants to explain their themselves and I want to give them the power to do that. So I don't have this on, but a lot of people do. Symbol protection. This is this protects you from like random symbols that people post. Uh, this is a good idea because sometimes people go around posting like symbols that add up to a picture. And a lot of times they can put inappropriate things within those pictures. I'm sure maybe you've seen some of them. Uh, they can get pretty creative, all right? The trolls get pretty creative. And uh, you might want to put that on for that exact reason. But uh, yeah, banned words is really good. You basically want to make sure that there's not hateful slurs going on in your in your, uh, in your chat or there's not other, other kind of stuff um, that is just really like too far. So make sure you guys take some time to really do this. It makes Twitch or whatever streaming platform you're on a better place. But it also really like shows that you care about these different topics where you won't have hate slurs coming through and everything. I don't have this set up through stream elements, but I do have this set up for, through another facet. And it, and it really, it's a great idea because it, it, it doesn't allow for the toxicity to come into your chat. Next up, we've got bot timers where you can have your chat bot say something every so often, however often you want it to say something. So for me, I've got things like a sub timer where it reminds people, hey, you can subscribe through here or don't forget to follow or here's my discord or bits or whatever you know I, I got a whole bunch of different things like a p.o box or whatever so in order to add a timer you're gonna go over to add new timer you can make it a make a name for it like maybe you want to do one for uh do a backflip nick needs 
to do a backflip now. And you wanna put that on a timer for some godforsaken reason. So for the online interval, this is like when your stream is live. How often do you want this to come up? And maybe you want it to come up every 120 minutes, right? This is minutes. And you know, you can put it to 120. Now for offline, if people come into your chat, it will still do that timer. I would just like turn that off for offline. Or if you want it on, you can, you know, the same thing, whatever. Chat lines is actually a really important thing because if, if you're just like chilling there, you don't want your timer being the only thing that's going off if there's not a lot of people in chat. So what this does is it says the minimum amount of chat lines in the last five minutes required to activate the timer. So maybe you want like, I don't know. Well, that's a lot of chat. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you want like 10 chats or something. You can do it there. Then you'll say activate timer. I'm not going to activate this timer because I don't want to do a backflip every 120 minutes. I don't ever want to do a backflip. Look at me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat. I hope this helped. I have more videos on this topic, so make sure you check out one of these here or wherever it's at. If you have any questions, you can use the comments down below, or you can come talk to me live on stream Monday through Friday. I go live at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'd love to see you there if you have any questions or if you just want to come and hang out. But you know what? We'll see you in the next video. And by the way, if you made it this far in the video till the end, um, just comment poop real quick because I think it'll be kind of funny. All right.